So this, this story actually uh, begins about 490 years ago, almost 500 years ago, and uh, we're going to take a little historical uh, backtrack before we actually go on our, on our expedition to uh, talk about this extraordinary beauty. And if you look over here at these islands, this is uh, Halmahera Island, and right here are these two little islands, and these are the legendary Spice Islands of fame. So here's a zoom in, there's the uh, Spice Islands. And this one here is the island of Ternate, and it was here that about 500 years ago, the whole European world was um, basically enthralled with trying to get here and find faster trade routes in order to move spices, which were the most valuable commodity at the time, to Europe. And in fact, this is what sent Magellan on his circumnavigation of the globe, was to try to find a faster route to get there and um, over, overcome the, uh, the Portuguese. And this is a, a photograph uh, of uh, the island of Ternate. That's the other island there, Tidore. You can see these volcanic spires. And it was in these waters here where um, Magellan's crew came to rest and started trading with the sultans and were working out basically uh, trade routes and, and making agreements with the king of Spain in order to become wealthy themselves. And of course, they were filling the cargo holds of these ships with, with cloves and nutmeg and spice. But the sultans of these islands, they wanted to give something to the king of Spain that would be you know, the most valuable thing that they could imagine. And for them, that was a handful of these incredibly plumed birds that they had acquired from one of the out of way, uh, way posts within their, in their territories, in their domains. And they gave them to Magellan's crew to return back to the, uh, to the king of Spain. And these birds had been prepared in the traditional New Guinean way, which was that their, their wings had been cut off and their legs had been cut off and they had been basically shrink dried around the stick to really accentuate those incredible feathers. And when um, Magellan, uh, he was dead actually by the time he got here, but his crew, uh, by the time his, his fleet got here, but his crew took those back to Europe and they caused quite a sensation. So in the um, 16th century, um, the chroniclers of the Magellan voyage went all around Europe and were sharing you know, the great uh, stories of their adventure. And one of the things they did is they took this greater bird of paradise uh, plumes that were given to the king of Spain from, from the kings in the Spice Island and they took it to Rome. And in Rome, they presented it to the Pope. And at the time, there were these great artists who were there on their pilgrimages to, to Rome in order to create their incredible works of art during the Renaissance. And some of them painted and incorporated these uh, wingless, legless uh, birds that could only be explained as having come from the uh, earthly Garden of Eden. That is, they were the birds from paradise. And that's where they got their name.